today we will see some examples related to the area of a rectangle. An old farmer has a farm of length 200 meter and breadth 100 meter. He has to divide this farm equally among his two sons and two daughters. Find out how much area of the farm each person will get. First, let us check what information are given and what we have to find out. An old farmer has a farm of length 200 meter and breadth 100 meter, which he has to divide equally among his two sons and two daughters, which means the farm has to be divided into four equal parts. By finding the area of one part, we can easily tell how much area of the farm each person will get. We can solve it in different ways. First, let us divide the farm into four equal parts. For this, we will divide the length by two, so that we obtain the midpoint of the length at 200 meter by two is equal to 100 meter from the corner. By joining the midpoint of the opposite sides, we will divide the farm into two equal parts. Similarly, when we divide the breadth by 2, we obtain the midpoint of the breadth at 100 meter by 2 is equal to 50 meter from the sides. Now, if we join the midpoint of the opposite sides, with the help of both line segments, we will be able to divide the farm into four equal parts. Here, the length and breadth of each part are 100 meter and 50 meter respectively. We know that the area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Hence, the area of each part of the farm will be 100 meter multiplied by 50 meter is equal to 5000 square meter. In this way, we have solved the given question. We can use another method to solve this question. Can you tell us which method is that? Think for a while. Let me explain. Here, we have to find how much area will each person get. Therefore, we will find the area of the entire farm, which will be 200 meter multiplied by 100 meter is equal to 20,000 square meter. Since this area will be divided into four equal parts, the area of one part will be the total area divided by four, that is, 20,000 square meter divided by 4 is equal to 5,000 square meter. Next example. The following figure illustrates the layout of a house. If according to this layout, we have to place tiles in the house at the rate rupees 50 per square feet, what will be the total expenditure? In order to find the answer to this question, first, we will have to find the total area of the house. We can divide this figure into two rectangles in this way. We will name them ABCD and DEFG. The length and breadth of rectangle ABCD are 25 feet and 20 feet respectively, whereas the length and breadth of rectangle DEFG are 40 feet and 30 feet respectively. Area of the entire floor of the house is equal to area of rectangle ABCD plus area of rectangle DFG is equal to 25 multiplied by 20 plus 40 multiplied by 30 square feet is equal to 500 plus 1200 square feet is equal to 1700 square feet. Since the area of the entire floor of the house is 1,700 square feet and the cost of installing tiles per square feet is rupees 50, therefore, the total cost of installing tiles per 1,700 square feet will be 1,700 multiplied by 50 is equal to rupees 85,000. This is the answer to the given question.
So today, we saw some examples related to the area of a rectangle.